You might think that when you look up to the sky at night, that it might look like nothing's going on and you wonder where all the action is. There are plenty of things happening right now as we speak that you might not be aware of, from possibly finding life on Pluto to new explorations on Mars. Here are strange things that happen in our solar system. Number 14. Diamond Rain A strange phenomena that happens in our solar system is known as diamond rain, and it might be a little bit more painful than it sounds. If only there was some way to make this happen on Earth, that'd be great. Due to strange magnetic pulls on planets such as Uranus and Neptune and other gas giants, it causes large amounts of concentrated liquid carbon. The large quantity of methane as well on these planets have been known to cause enough pressure to turn the liquid carbon into large diamond icebergs. Once the diamonds form, it causes diamonds to fall from the sky like hail or raindrops. So instead of worrying about getting to Mars, scientists should really find a way to get to one of these planets ASAP. If they could somehow bring back a diamond iceberg while they're at it, that'd be good. Researchers are also beginning to believe that some planets could have much more diamonds in their crust than once thought. Number 13. Io Volcanoes You probably look up to the moon and think to yourself that it's basically a dead wasteland with no geothermic activity, and you're probably right. But moons on other planets might be a little bit different. Jupiter's moon Io, for example, is full of volcanic life and is considered to be the most active geothermal moon in the solar system. Since Io is exposed to so much gravity from Jupiter, it causes more activity and new ones can be created quite rapidly. This one here shoots out lava, but that's not always the case as we're about to see. Number 12. The Weather of Venus Any kind of windstorms you could possibly imagine on Earth is basically nothing compared to the ones on Venus. This hell-like planet experiences high enough temperatures that it's thought to be too hot to support life, that we know of. The wind certainly doesn't make it any more inviting, and winds can often travel more than 400 miles an hour. Venus would also be an absolutely horrible place to be if somehow you ended up there and were able to witness what was going on. Here in this image, we see an artist's portrayal of the surface of Venus, which is constantly struck with lightning. Instead of blue skies, a sulfuric yellow is what you're going to see but sulfuric clouds instead, which can't be good. Number 11, the Titan Crescent. Imagine looking up to the sky and the moon was green instead of white like we're used to, or just seeing more than 60 of them. Here in this photo, we see what Triton might look like from Saturn's point of view during a crescent stage. Titan, which is almost larger than the planet of Mercury, almost has a planet-like atmosphere and it takes 15,945 days to rotate Saturn. The atmosphere has an orange haze to it, which is mainly composed of 95% nitrogen and 5% methane, kind of like Earth. The orange haze is still somewhat of a mystery. Number 10. A lot of icy water. There is definitely a lot more of water in our solar system than we might have once thought. The main problem is that it's normally coming from forms of ice. Gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn have moons with ice, such as Europa and Enceladus. Recent studies have shown that not all ice is the same, such as the ones found in comets. Some feel as though that Earth was struck with so many comets that it made ice form into the oceans. Ice is also found on the northern and southern poles of Mars, which basically means water could really be just about anywhere on this planet. Even asteroids have been known to carry many ingredients for life. Number 9. Ceres Ceres is the largest asteroid that rotates Jupiter and Saturn in the big asteroid belt in our solar system. While it's much smaller than many moons, it's still the 33rd largest object in the solar system and is too dark and small to see without a telescope. The reason why many researchers are interested about this place is that water seems to form in the parts of the craters that are forever shadowed. Ceres has also had a formidable atmosphere made of water vapor due to some of the ice in the gray areas not fully forming. Temperatures of this dwarf planet can reach about negative 38 degrees Celsius, which almost still sounds like a cold day in Canada. One of them is an astonishing 57 miles wide. The possibilities of life here seem to be encouraging more and more exploration. Some even believe that Ceres is related to Earth in one way or another, with some kind of collision causing Earth to break off. More research is needed, and we may find out the true answer soon. Number 8. Halley's Comet Halley's Comet is the most well-known comet in the solar system, and it travels around the solar system every 75 to 76 years. It's very rare to witness this kind of thing, let alone trying to catch a photo of it with a satellite. In 1986, this ball of dust and ice was caught on camera by Giotto, a European spacecraft. 
It's very rare to see the nucleus of a comet in such detail. The orbital path of this comet is quite strange, and it goes against the orbital paths of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It speeds up quite drastically when it gets closer to the Sun in the inner solar system. The next return of Halley's Comet is in 2061, so if you missed it already, good luck seeing it again. Number 7. Object X The Hubble telescope picked up a very bizarre finding in 2010 of this X-shaped pattern of debris that was possibly made up from a collision of two asteroids. A collision such as this has never been seen before. With the two asteroids traveling at an estimated speed of 11,000 miles per hour, they're both going faster than a bullet shot from a rifle, about five times faster to be exact. Imagine looking to the sky and seeing something like this heading straight for Earth. With the extreme speed of the collision, it allowed for scientists to witness a one-of-a-kind nucleus. This part measured about 460 feet wide and was trailed by dust of the same composition. It originated from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and not too far from us. Number 6. Life on Pluto Many of us would immediately rule out any possibility of Pluto hosting any life forms at all. But are we too quick to judge just due to the fact that it's far away from the Sun? Pluto is still trying to prove everyone wrong. The NASA New Horizons spacecraft got an up-close look and revealed that Pluto is making a comeback in interest among the scientific community. It revealed that there was actually ice mountains, smooth plains, methane dunes, an atmosphere, and most likely, an underground ocean. Astrobiologist David Grinspoon clings on to hope and says that life on Pluto is possible, but right now it's speculative. The main problem with finding out what for sure is going on over there is due to the fact that it's so far away. Number 5. Ice Geysers Many natural phenomena occur in our solar system that may shock you. Who said volcanoes only have to shoot out lava and fire again? Imagine the complete opposite image of a volcano shooting out frozen water. On one of Neptune's moons, Triton, near the South Pole, is where you'll find this bizarre thing take place. The Voyager satellite found a volcano that shoots out liquid nitrogen, which then turns into ice. What appeared to be black smudges on Triton turned out to be a mixture of nitrogen and moon dust from the volcanoes. Once this happens, a towering cloud of these materials shoot upwards about 5 miles in the sky. Number 4. Another Little Planet It almost seems like teachers need to keep constantly updating their textbooks about the solar system because new things keep on emerging. From one of the most outer regions of our solar system is a dwarf planet known as 2015 RR245. It's about 11 billion miles away from the Sun, over 120 times further than the distance of planet Earth and the Sun. Due to the enormous distance, it would take 700 Earth years for it to complete a full lap around the Sun. Scientists also downgraded Pluto from being a planet in 2006 and dubbed it as a dwarf planet. Number 3. Massive Dust Storms on Mars Many don't feel as though Mars is suitable for intelligent life because of all the crazy dust and wind storms that happen here. Last month, scientists found a massive 15.8 million mile storm wreaking havoc on the planet. This could mean that Houston will have a serious problem with their solar-powered Mars Opportunity rover. This photo here was captured by one of the Mars rovers, which gives you a good idea how hazy the environment can get once wind starts getting picked up. On smooth parts of Mars, big tornadoes can take place on planes such as the Amazonas Plantia. These are known to spew Martian dust all throughout the atmosphere. Number 2. James Webb Red Spot You might remember from our Things NASA Doesn't Want You To Know video, the massive James Webb telescope that seemingly took forever to get into space. Now that thing is done and is heading to the red spot of Jupiter in another two years to find unprecedented new information. One of the biggest mysteries in our solar system is this giant never-ending storm in Jupiter which is big enough to fit two or three Earth-sized planets inside. Not only is it simply massive, but it's also been going on for the past 300 years. Winds here get about 400 miles an hour and put Mars windstorms to shame. The infrared system on the James Webb telescope will hopefully give some insight on why the changes in size. You can also tell from these photos how it's slowly gotten smaller in the past few decades. There must be something very in particular about this storm that scientists are trying to find out why it's been going on for so long. Number 1. New Mars Discoveries Recently, in June of 2018, the NASA Curiosity rover appears to have found new evidence of Mars being fit to host alien life. Tough organic material was found in sedimentary rocks from 3 billion years ago, and more insight about the atmosphere was learned as well. Currently, Mars faces pretty harsh radiation from space, but the conditions for more advanced life back during this time seem much more possible. 
Other discoveries to support methane being in the atmosphere here are also present, which could possibly have been caused by living organisms. NASA feels optimistic that they will find more concrete evidence of previous life here. But the real question is, do the L-Ray know aliens exist and won't tell us the truth?